boy? Yes. Good. How do you do it? I went into a situation full of optimism, full of naivete. I got burnt. Look at me. Like smack on a fucking spoon. Well... How do you manage? I don't know that I got off so lightly. <sighs> we all got our demons. Aiden O'Malley. What about Aiden O'Malley? I heard he's being moved. <clears throat> Maybe this is our time. Put all this crap to bed. Get off the drugs. Live with the memories. Hayden's being moved by Van from the bacon factory. He's been talking shit about me. Back to the Albany State Correctional Facility. Please, Nico, boy, just this last one. Please. Sure, Derek. You. And me, we're the same, the same, the, the same, we're the same, you and me. Nico, I hear my brother Derek is asking you to ice his old drinking buddy Aiden O'Malley. Yeah, he has. What's the big deal? O'Malley is in government custody. He's got more police protection than the mayor. I left a truck with a rocket launcher in it for you in an alley. Off of Applewhite in Alderney City. A truck with a rocket launcher in it? What am I meant to do with him? Who knows? Anyway, the convoy with O'Malley in it has to go through the booth tunnel. You're gonna get there first and block the road with your truck. I'm gonna come in from the rear and block him that way. Pick up the truck and give me a call. Necesito. Learn how to fucking drive! And now, the show that allows everyone to vent their spleen. It's Pacemaker, the program that puts the heart back into the health industry. Here's your host, Ryan McFallon. It's David and Goliath, but we're all David when it comes to fighting the healthcare industry. And this time, it's not a rock, it's our nuts in a sling. Promises, broken promises made to you, and dirty needles. For what? When we have him blocked in, we take down the escort and make off with the prisoner. Why don't we just kill the fucker there and then? That's probably what Derek would have told you to do in his smacked out state. Problem is, he's the first one they talk to if that happens. We gotta make this look like a prison break. Great! They're leaving the old cop shop now. Should be at the booth tunnel soon.
Pharmaceuticals is there every step of the way, much more so than a bunch of hillbillies fighting progress and home cremating their mother. Well, what can I do? Yes, I'd be a corporate slut. No, no, you are where you are. Well, really, life is a challenge. And if you could swallow a magic pill every day and not worry about that challenge, wouldn't you? We all would. Some of us are. Take, for instance, our best-selling symptomatic postural tension reliever, Culminex. Life is stressful. Up the dose. And with increased dosage, people will see an inverse reduction in problems. It's science, really. Life is stressful. And the reason it's stressful is that the consumer is forced to pay pharmaceutical companies like yours exorbitant fees to cover these prescriptions and CEO bonuses. HMOs like mine are trying to save your life. And Little Miss Drug Company here sashays into the doctor's office, flashes her perky bazookas, and the next thing you know, the doctor's prescribing heavy sedatives for every splinter or rash. And who gets to pay for this? The insurance companies, which we are obliged to mark up and pass on to you in denied coverage claims. It breaks my heart. That was just, that was just too many pills, man. It's making our immune systems weak. My mom was a, was a, was a visionary and a... I'm in position, Pecky. All right, man, we're coming to you. Take out the escort, but keep Derek's pal alive. What's this jerk think he's doing? Hey, Mitch, can you find out what this guy's up to? Come on, buddy. You're gonna... Was a joke? You drive while I watch our cargo, Nico. Help me. Somebody help! I need help! I've been shot! Check the cops, Nico! Shake these cops, Nico! We need them to think Aiden is free as a fucking bird! All right, all right, I'll try to lose these fucking clubs. Van. Cops will be looking.
Okay, there's a car. You're not free yet, asshole. Get in that car. We've got rid of the unwanted attention. Now it's time for business. Get us to the cliffs in Leftwood. of Leftwood, then. Is there a boat coming or something? Where am I going? You're going to a faraway place, my friend. Damn right! Somewhere the cops will never find me. Nobody's gonna find you where you're going, friend. Shit! I don't even know who sent you guys. Who do I got to thank for springing me from the joint? We're doing this on behalf of an old acquaintance of yours. I knew I wasn't forgotten about. I knew that no matter how long I rotted in there, people on the outside world still remember me. People remember you, all right. You're at the front of certain people's minds. Well, who is it? Not Julia. She stopped writing and coming on visiting days, but I could tell she was still thinking of me. I knew it. You'll find out who it was when we get there. In the meantime, shut the hell up, buddy. All right, friend. Thank you. Grow up. People have to take responsibility. I mean, just the other day, this woman began to freak out in front of me and clutch her chest. So I did the responsible thing. I walked away. Yes, I work in the health industry. Yes, I had a purse full of life-saving heart drug samples, but I did not know this woman had insurance. I did not know if she was going to sue me, so I did oh the responsible thing, and I left it to the professionals. Well, wow. did you even call 911? I left that to the professionals as well. Well, 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 what happened to this poor woman? Well, she died, but she learned a very valuable lesson. First off, you wouldn't be having a heart attack in the street if you had gone to the doctor the day before and requested a prescription for a pill you saw on a TV commercial but don't know what it does. What it does is irrelevant. Ask your doctor for it. My mother, my mother had a great home remedy, home from the home, for heart problems. A few ordinary household items. You'll find them under the sink, mixed together, drink problems solved. No bureaucracy. It's like my dad. I remember him telling me, son, is a lie, and he was in great shape because he Ouch come, old boy. The cliffs, the sea air, I really am free. I could cry. You've made me a happy man, boys. Now it's time to tell me who asked you to do this. Derek McCreary. He's my brother. Derek? But he ratted me out. He's the reason I ended up in that place to start with, the spineless... So you thought you'd talk about him? He's my brother, and guys like you are killing him. Nico, get ready, dear old Aiden. Aiden is dead. That's the end of a chapter. I can close the book on a whole lot of my past now, Nico. Thanks. Maybe a clean break is in order. A fresh beginning. Good luck to you.